Hello my dear this is Joel Kumar Sen and uh, today in this video tutorial you are going to learn about types of loads and beams. Well I have already shared with you ton of videos related to shear force diagram and bending moment diagram and I got over 100 uh, response from you guys and thank you very much for your kind response. And because of that I got inspiration and cause to create more videos well that is different thing so come back to this tutorial and uh, in this tutorial I am going to share with you types of loads and beams that's why you can understand as well you can visualize things much better way I will try to make it happen for you so what what is basically load this is important right what is load uh, it's some kind of you know force basically it's Newton it's uh, you can say mass into acceleration it's some kind of force that is known as load right when mass is multiple with acceleration due to gravity that is known as mg is also known as load so load is sometimes we also called weight force these are three names but most of the time yeah as i am making these videos i am a mechanical engineer and of course i am making these videos for mechanical engineering students and uh, other students those are studying this topic too so basically loads is something like force it is acting on beams that's why today's topic is types of loads and types of beams so what we are exactly going to study what type of loads can act on the beams we are going to study are you getting my point Basically, if you know shear force and bending wind diagram, if you have watched my videos, then there is nothing uh, new here because here only I am going to share with you type uh, very basic things about loads and beams and uh, very basic things you can easily understand from anywhere. Alright, so basically what are types of load? What types of load? Well, I hope you understand what is load. Then if, you'll, if I'll ask what are types of load, then definitely you have to go on through all those loads. So first, second and third. First is point load. Point load. Second is UDL and third is UVL. If you are new V's, then definitely you are asking what the hell I am talking about. Actually, I am talking about short form. It is having its long form also. This is known as uniformly distributed load. And its name is uniformly varying load. And point load is having another name that is known as concentrated load. Well, this is simple. You can easily get from anywhere. But what I am going to share with you, that is little bit difference. If you will read from anywhere, you can get this quite easily. But I am going to share with you what is exactly it. And how you can see and where is the application of it. How you can see all these things in your numerical problems. I am going to share with you all those things. That is the difference. That will make you difference. That will make you uh, know better things about this. Okay. That's why I have used that word visualization. I am going to make you visualize things here. So point load. What is point load? Suppose that we are having a beam. Well, I haven't shared with you till now what are types of beam. So suppose that we are having a beam and beam is supported by two ends. And if there is a load acting on this beam just in a point that is known as point load or concentrated load if the load is uniformly distributed over the span of this beam is known as uniformly distributed load if the load is varying from here to here it is varying i mean here we have different load here we have different load that's why it is known as uniformly distributed load so this is known as point load this is known as udl and this is uvl i hope right now you are getting my point what i am talking right now so this is all about types of loads and you know what 
if you are if you have uh, if you wanted to learn SFD and VMD then I have created ton of videos if you already watched that's great but if you are newbie then I will definitely recommend you to watch those videos I think I have created around uh, 15 videos in SFD and VMD I don't know when you are watching this video probably it will be increased or uh, definitely it will uh, more than 15 okay so SFD and BMD shear force diagram and bending moment diagram if you are drawing then you need to understand all these loads these loads play most important role to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram okay now uh, okay so till now what we have discussed here what is loads what are types of loads with the visualization now we'll go through types of beams types of beams as i have shared with you there are many types of beams yeah definitely there are many types of beams but what are types of beams those you need to learn right so are you ready to learn all those types of beams i'm sure you wanted to learn right so then what are you waiting for let's go for it well i'm waiting for something you are not waiting i'm waiting so i let me use another uh, another color that's why it will be little bit quite a uh, little bit uh you know it will be funny and it will be enjoying for you so color is different color, different color with, will be very helpful for you so types of beams so basically there are many types of beams so here i'm going to share with you there are five types of beams first second third fourth and fifth so first type of beams i'm i'm sharing with you has here that is simply supported simply supported beam second okay before going to share with you what is simply supported beam let me visualize you what is exactly if any beam is support on the two ends at the two ends of the beam and these supports are not fixed basically they are simply supported suppose that this is a beam and i am supporting at the two ends this is known as simply supported beam this is known as simply supported beam right now next is fixed beam fixed beam what is fixed beam suppose that there is a beam and both the end of the beams are fixed is known as fixed beam so this is fixed beam and this is simply supported beam now let's come to cantilever cantilever beam so what is cantilever beam basically let me share with you suppose that there is a beam and the beam one side of one side of the beam is fixed and other is free one side is fixed and other side is free that type of beam is known as cantilever beam another is overhanging beam over hanging beam probably you also wanted to know the example of overhanging beam suppose that there is two supports okay and they are that they are some part of the beam is hanging here also and it could be like this also this is also known as overhanging beam it could be like this also right so all these examples are for overhanging beam so this is the fourth one and uh, yeah at the end of the video i am going to share with you what are types of i mean what are beams are most important for numerical point of view because uh, this is a chapter whole chapter so you have to learn lot of things in this chapter but definitely i am going to share with you what uh, what type of beams are most important for you if you are i mean numerical point of view yeah numerical that means definitely you have to draw shear force and bending movement so learn those topics i mean though these uh, how to draw shear force and bending movement for any type of beam will be very useful for you for university examination as well as uh, competition examination i have seen question asking gate i have also shared some videos related to it yeah already okay so yeah let me use another uh, yeah okay this one is quite good so what i was talking about the last one the last one beam name is uh, you know the last one with continuous beam continuous beam so what is basically continuous beam if the beam is supported by more than two supports is known as 
continuous beam but must not be overhang if it will overhang that means overhanging overhanging beam so it will be like this so this is known as what continuous beam so what we have studied in this video dot well five types of beams three types of loads that's it now let me share with you one thing which is most important what type of beams are most important most important for shear force and bending moment diagram here most of the students struggle that's why i have created a lot of videos i have already shared with you but what which one which beam is most important then let me share with you my dear there are only two types of beams those are really important first is simply supported beam and another one is uh, not this one cantilever beam i have seen 80% times question asked in university examination from these type of beams only as per competition examination concern then i cannot guess because they can give from anyone but these two are really really most important because most of the time the examiner ask question from here only so i hope you understand something you got something new from this video dot well thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye